hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are watching this then you know we are about to talk about the things i hate or dislike because hate is a strong word good people <laughs> the things i dislike about living in south korea so this is in no particular order and it's not to say that these are like deal breakers or like oh i hate korea because of this it's not like that it's just things that I appreciate a little bit less about living in Korea. No hard feelings, <laughs> nothing like that. It's just, you know, no country is perfect. Even if you move abroad, there's no guarantee that your life abroad is gonna be perfect. So I want to highlight the things that are a reality of being in South Korea. Let's not think too deeply about it, okay? okay. Number one, hygiene. <laughs> Some of the hygiene practices in Korea are very questionable. <laughs> You know, they, Koreans tend to be very meticulous about certain things and less meticulous about other things. So, men spitting in the streets. Actually, I don't want to say men because the other day I saw a girl doing it. Like, she didn't look like she was too far from my age. Spitting in the street. Like, like, like ugh. Stop it. You're nasty. Oh, you're nasty. Anyway, public bathrooms just yeah i don't know so, so first of all some of korea's plumbing systems or sewage systems whatever are old and so you will have like a sign on the door that says please put your used like toilet paper in the bin and don't flush it because the toilet drains can't handle it that's those bins tend to pile up like people don't clear them out very regularly so that's like ill in public bathrooms and then you get the bar soap koreans will like have like a bar of soap in a public toilet like not all of them obviously there are nicer areas where the toilets are nicer like no squat toilets and like you know the squeezy um hand soap and whatnot or like even the taps where you don't have to touch anything you just put your hands under and then there's a sensor it depends where you are but yeah Oh yeah, that shared bar soap is pretty nasty and they really don't change it like very frequently so it'll have like white, I don't even know what, I don't want to think of it as mold but when I see it I think of mold, it'll have like white in between like you know the hinges that soap gets sometimes and it'll look like it's been there for years and everyone's just been using it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so yeah that and like also like before coronavirus people who like just cough like out in the open or like sneeze out in the open don't cover their mouth yeah so anyway i i yeah i don't want to <laughs> get too shady but yeah some hygiene practices in korea are less than ideal number two is the interesting flavors i love korean food like I love Korean food. Anyone knows that. And I tend not to be picky about Korean foods unless it's like a food that I just genuinely have never liked, like mushrooms or onions. No one at me. Do not at me. Do not fight with me. I'll never like them. Onions, onions, depending on how they're done, I can deal with. But mushrooms, like, okay, but that's, I digress. That's not the point. I love Korean food. And yet, Korea has a lot of weird flavors for weird things. Like, you'll just be buying a packet of chips in the convenience store because you'll be like, hmm, craving something a little salty, you know? And then you get there and you buy, like, just chips that look appetizing. And then when you put them in your mouth, it's like a burst of sugar. And you're like, like garlic bread. Why is garlic bread sweet? We'll never know. We will never know. There are foods that Koreans say are really spicy and then you eat them and you're like eh. Or at least this is like, I know a lot of foreigners can't handle spice but as a South African there are a lot of spicy foods Spicy foods that I eat and I'm like And they're like, are you not? And I'm like, nah, I'm good <laughs> But yeah, and then there are like spicy until you cry foods And these are the ones that people tend not to warn you about I don't know how that one works Sometimes they just don't warn you about the ones that can actually make you cry. So yeah, it's just a weird thing. Oh, and then you also have like Korean saying that things are salty, but when you taste them, you're like, it's seasoned. It's <laughs> it tastes fine to me, you know? Sometimes genuine, like I've only had one case where a Korean person said that something was salty and I tasted it and I was like, oh yeah, you're right. 
you know but otherwise i'm just like nah it's, it's okay <laughs> we move okay the third thing i don't like about korea is air pollution number one well this is a two-parter apparently air pollution and just how dry the air gets like i mean in the winter it gets pretty dry in south africa as well but like damn korea i will just have like a sore throat just out of habit because the air is so dry sometimes like i had to buy a humidifier for my apartment because i'll just have like a sore throat for no reason no apparent reason even your skin so yeah the air gets pretty dry and the air pollution is pretty bad although i have to say that since the coronavirus i guess because factories are not operating at full capacity the air is really clean like korea looks like it's in hd i don't know why but yeah that's another thing number four last minute culture i don't like it i am a planner if anyone knows me they know that i like to plan i'm not necessarily an organized person but if it comes to like things that i need to prepare for or like being mentally prepared for doing or like like even leaving my house leaving my house for me is something that i need to mentally prepare for or be like i'm going to go do this today like it's happening type of thing so i don't like last minute changes be it at work and telling me very important things mid-lesson while i'm teaching <laughs> then i have to, that i now have to change be it um you, you know telling me things like just before class that you think is not a big deal but to me i'm like freaking out um even if it's not at work just like social things like people cancelling on you or being like oh yeah let's do this on this day or <laughs> I don't like it like if it's far enough in advance I don't mind change change is fine but change comes with time and notice change is not a spontaneous thing yes I can think on my feet but I would appreciate not having to thank you very much I don't like that and it's like a huge thing I don't want to say it's Korean culture but it's a thing that like almost all the Koreans I know do last minute changes i can't <laughs> i can't handle it number five please keep in mind my cultural context the lack of diversity in korea wait for it hear me out i know that i'm the one who moved to a homogenous country um but yeah i don't think you can understand how how huge the impact of living in a homogenous country is when you are used to diversity like South Africa has 11 official languages and how many like unofficial cultures like I don't want to say unofficial but just like think about how many cultures live in South Africa outside of that 11 official languages and 11 official cultures outside of that and then like into a homogenous country where everyone is one race one culture you know it's it's one language it's it's quite it's hectic and you know as much as it's not that bad like obviously you're always going to be the outlier as much as it's not that bad there are days where you're like i wish people were different because i'm tired of feeling different like being the outlier is not fun today it's i don't get it like i remember this very distinct moment i hadn't been in korea for long i was still adjusting to my job type thing and i think it was like when i was starting to feel like very comfortable in like you know going to work taking the bus like where i wasn't like sitting on the bus on edge like am i gonna miss my stop type thing after i had just adjusted and gotten used to stuff there was this one day where i was like going home on the bus whatever um and I mean, I take the same bus every day, so I think the people on there are used to me now, or I just don't pay attention anymore because I'm so used to being stared at, or I don't know what it is. But yeah, on this particular day, I had felt like very used to, like I was comfy, I wasn't paying attention, but I was doing things on like autopilot. And then I got out of the bus, and then people were staring at me. And I was very confused, like I remember this very clearly, like that feeling of confusion and I was like why are people looking at me, like what, is there something on my face, is there something wrong with my outfit, you know, I was genuine, genuine confused and then I remembered, oh yeah, I'm the foreigner, it's weird to say, but like for me, I, I think I just couldn't register that everyone around me was Korean except me so I was like why are people there like what's so special about me that people are looking at me like in South Africa if someone's staring at you 
it's probably because there's something wrong with like your appearance like genuinely something is out of place type thing but like i was just like why are people staring at me and then i was like oh yeah i'm black and i'm a foreigner so i stick out that's why they're staring at me i was like in my mind i'm like please stop staring at me like i'm just trying to go home <laughs> so yeah like the lack of diversity can get to you sometimes not so much like language barriers and stuff like that one i don't know language barriers for me is just like i try you know to understand the language so if i hit a barrier i try to dig myself out of it but when you are just different and there's nothing you can do about it you know not that being different is bad but just on that particular day you are tired of being different or just wishing that more people around you were different so the people would stop staring at you yeah that's a little difficult but yeah <laughs> i think it's getting better because obviously there are more foreigners in like korea and i have a lot of foreign friends in my city so like if i walk alone in shine the difference between me walking with a group of my foreign friends is huge but like yeah but anyway yeah that is uh well those are some of the things that i dislike about living in korea um yeah i don't know i don't think there's much else other things is just like things that are not necessarily to do with korea but just people like on a people level i don't like this type thing i don't know if i left anything out or like if you all are curious about something else please let me know and leave it in the comments and ask me whatever questions you have and yeah if you have any video requests please let me know um and yeah please like comment subscribe hit the notification button so you know when i'm posting and i will see you next time goodbye